Hello, welcome back to our channel. Exciting one. It is our most requested video mm. we've ever had. We're about to do a van tour of our XH13. Blue, Blue Tongue, Tongue Caravan. It's a 2022 model, even though it might not look like it. It's only about <laughs> nine months old. Yeah, we can't wait to show you around. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, let's have a look around our caravan. We'll do all the outside stuff first and then Lily's going to take you through all the inside things. So, right here at the front, the ALKO hitch. So it's like one of these 360 hitches. It works pretty well, hey. Um, lots of people have the DO35. I see no problems with this. It's got an arc jockey wheel. It's cool, but we've... <laughs> We've actually bent it um, by jackknifing it and I've lost the handle for it, which is a pain. And we've also got handbrake up the front. That's for the power supply, trailer brakes, the usual. Got a tap up here at the front, which is pretty cool. But I will say, when the jockey wheel is up, you can't use the tap. And then also, the jockey wheel has to point downwards so then it hangs lower than the drawbar and we've actually damaged it and ripped this pin off because it is. So if this tap was on the other side and we could have had the wheel facing backwards or facing up when it flicks up, then that wouldn't have happened. It's a bit of a design flaw, but it's a bit late because I've already broken the jockey wheel. Okay, this is our storage box at the front. So this is like gas storage, fuel storage. So this box has a bit of a rubber seal around the top here but it's got holes in the bottom for ventilation for the gas, so it, everything in here doesn't stay clean, which is a shame, but we'll give you a look in. Up the front, we've got two gas bottles here, just one gas bottle at a time, so when you run out that, I just keep the wheels for the boat in here, and our hose and power, stuff like that. On the other side, we've got two jerry cans. This is our ground mat. Um, that's just another mat. I've got a chainsaw in here and then the boat fuel as well. And that's pretty cool because everything just stays locked in here and it's all neat and away and we don't have the gas canisters on the front so that people can just come along and steal them or switch them off or something like that. So I really like that and it keeps it all nice and neat. Why don't we, we'll move down this side, down the driver's side. So this is supposed to be like a generator storage. Um, we don't have a generator. Basically, I just keep not really much in here. So it's gonna slide. Just have our Weber, random buckets, like a hammock. Just some fittings and stuff in there. But, oop. <laughs> we keep our foldable solar panel in here. Also, this is just a switchboard, so we've got everything in here, like our iTech World DC-DC charger, the solar controller charger here, just all this stuff, like the switchboard with the fuses and the circuit breakers, all that kind of stuff. So all our electrical, we keep in there. Also up here, we've got a tunnel boot. So this goes the whole way through to the other side of the van, which when we get around there, I'll show you the other side. We just really just keep some crap in there. So it doesn't look nice, but just stuff that we don't need. I mean, there's just like laundry detergent and that kind of thing all up there. So this is the cover for our hot water unit. So most vans I've noticed just have this on the outside, but it's cool. This has like this protective cover, especially for us because we really like take this bush passion. Ooh, love that for us around and like there's always just sticks and stuff sticking into it and we would have lost this cover by now so that just comes off if you want to use your hot water you also notice that the van has these rock sliders the whole way along and before we left on this trip i was like these are silly like why would we need rock sliders in our van but i reckon it saved our van so many times like we've dropped the van on this oh on these rock sides a lot and they hold up really well. Now originally Gauv and I've just painted them with a Raptor coat which is chipping off a lot. <laughs> um, there's lights all around the van so there's just one here they're all controlled from well you switch from the inside they're all right they're not 
the brightest things in the world, but they work, hey? Oh, and I also forgot at the front here, it's got this like fake leather sort of protective panel on it. Probably just to stop the sewn chips and all that kind of stuff. I actually really like the look of it. It's just a pain to keep clean. Like it's just got stained by the red dirt so far. Ah, so I'll just show you these bits here first. So down here we just have shore water, then that's the filler for the tank. So it's got a 150 litre fresh water tank in it, also 130 litres of a grey water tank at the front. So the fresh water tank and the grey water tank, they're both stainless steel tanks. Fresh water at the back, grey water at the front. This is also our dust suppression system. So there's just a filter in there, you just push this button and it then sucks air in through the filter and pressurizes the van. I'm pretty certain it works really well because we never get dust inside our van and we go on some really dusty roads. Even with this broken door, which I'm going to get to in a second. And then here, there's an outdoor shower. I was so excited when we got this, having an outdoor shower. But to be honest, we haven't even used it yet. Maybe when we go up north, we'll use it a bit more. Part, this is where our bed folds out. And if you'll notice, there's a big dent in here. So if you've been following us along, you know that we had a pretty bad blowout in Cooper Pedy. There was about 150k an hour winds. Oh my god! What the f is happening? I think, ah! gonna... I think we're gonna flip over. We had the bed out and it actually folded over the top of the roof. We are trying to get a replacement door for it. It's just been a bit of a hard thing just just with insurance and stuff insurance stuffing us around and then we changed and we went no we're not going to go through insurance it wasn't worth it so we're trying to get blue tone to get us a door but they've ordered the wrong door so <laughs> we've been living with this broken door for probably two maybe three months now it still works though as i'm about to show you just not that nicely so if you want to pop the bed out you've got your three bed. This is actually super simple. I thought this was gonna be a lot more than what it was, but I'll show you. Hold that up there, and this isn't heavy. Open that one. Open this here. Drop these down. Pull these up. And that's it, the bed's done. So it's, it's so simple. I was really worried about how long this would take and it'd be a pain to set up, but it's actually fantastic and it's nice sleeping in there. And best thing, Lil can do it on her own. So <laughs> I can just fluff around doing nothing and Lil can set the van up for me. I'll, I'll put it back down for you. How good. So here we are at the back of the van. We have a lot of stuff over here. We've got two spare tires here. These tires are 285, 75, 16, and they're Maxxis razors, same as the car. And they're all on the exact same, an eight inch rim, zero offset, six stud. So they're all interchangeable. The car and the caravan are all the same. You know, it's nice to have, the, have that peace of mind because we've got you know, two spare tyres here and one under the car. So we've got the XTM bags here. If we'd had our time again, we probably would have got those crash pad ones. And then, because I'm pretty certain they've got a zip at the bottom so you can get stuff out. It's a bit of a pain. We put all our recycling in here and then I've got to go in and get it back out. They're just so dusty, so I just get so dirty getting all the rubbish out of the bags. It'd be nice to be able to unzip it and drop the bags out and drop them in the bin. The van's also got these little recovery points on it and then it's got a few along there and they're all like Heyman Reese style so you, you could do whatever you want with them just like I've done here with this outboard holder this is a bit controversial as well I think we got we put an Instagram story of this up I've actually moved this it was on the front of the van and then just because the van had so much ball weight it was ridiculous that I thought if I can move the outboard to the back it'll make it ride so much better and we put a little Instagram story up and I had a lot of people message us and say you shouldn't do this you're gonna have not enough ball weight on a normal van probably right 
but I reckon this thing would be upwards with this on the front, probably over 300 kilos of ball weight. Like if we hit like a speed bump or something in the car park, I feel like the front wheels of the car were gonna lift off the ground. It was so much. And ever since moving this to the back, the van rides so much better, like, and the car rides so much better. Like, it feels balanced now. It doesn't feel like there's just so much weight pushing down the back of the car. It's heaps better. So I just made this myself at home. Well, originally this piece here was on the front of the caravan, and then I've just added this when we're in Perth, that extra bit to go on the 50 mil hitch. And also I can take this out and I can put it on my car so I can take the motor on the car easily. Yeah, I mean, there's a there's a little light up the back here as well, but you can't really use it because of the swag. Pretty good setup. This is just the back of the van where everything gets dusty. So I guess we'll get to everything underneath as well. This is independent suspension, and it's got just the twin shock and single coil. Uh, the van rides really well. Uh, a lot of people said, oh, you got to do the Pedders up upgrade or whatever when we bought the van, but I haven't really ever thought, oh, the van doesn't ride very well. I think it's actually just smooth as. So we haven't done that. I guess we'd actually move on because the kitchen's right here. And I reckon I'll let Lil show you that because she loves the kitchen. And that's not a sexist thing, but she just really likes it. I mean, I like it too, but it's like her spot in the van. Finally, it's my turn to talk. I've been holding on back there behind the camera and now I get a chance. The car tour, I didn't get involved, the batteries, I had like a small little part to play, but now I'm in my element. I can show you the inside and the kitchen. These are my pride and joys because I love to keep them looking like brand new and it just makes it feel so nice and fresh and clean. Anyway, so we've got the door that comes um, up, same with those three clips as it does on the other side. We've got an interior light up here on the top hand side and you can turn that on with the switches over here. Uh, and then also we've got two more sort of down lights underneath as well. You can turn them on with a touch and then they even dim, which you probably can't see at this time of day, but that's really cool. So we love that feature of the lights on the van and super easy when you're cooking and things like that. You can actually see what you're making. Uh, on the left hand side we've got um, power outlets, we've got a 12 volt and some USB ports up in the corner here. And then we're stuck on some little extra bits because we just want to make the most of the space. So we've got Joseph and Joseph knife set and chopping board set. And I must say that is so handy because we haven't got like chopping boards in the cupboards or knives in the drawers. They're all just there. I don't have to go fishing for them. They're just easy to get to. So I love that. We've then got the Dometic three burner gas stove. So the two on the right are more powerful and then the one on the left is a little bit less. And then when you're done, give it a clean, pop the lid down and then you've got a bit more working space here. And in terms of working space, I know you might think, oh, that's not much space. But we've got this um, rubber mat, which is obviously used for drying mainly, but I put it over the top of the sink and then I've got all of this extra space. So I might put down like the chopping board and I can be chopping here. I've got stuff over here. It's just really handy and it's not like I'm not making the most of all of that space. We also have put in the van three bathroom towel racks. And the reason for that is we had so much space that we wanted to make the most of for things like tea towels or um, in the caravan, I'll show you, we've got hats hanging and, but it's just nice to have somewhere to put your tea towels where they're not sort of sitting on top of the tap or, you know, in the sink. They're up there, they're dry and they're keeping it a little bit cleaner, I think. Jacob was super handy, thank God he's a plumber because he changed this tap the tap was like a really low silver ugly but also it wasn't functional like i've got a big drink bottle and i couldn't even get the drink bottle underneath the tap so it's been really nice to have this new black tap in here because it looks nice but it's also really practical and then on the right hand side we've got two of the fusion lock storage holders and they're from bunnings they are pretty expensive but I must say, you won't regret it. Like, I've not had one of these fall off the wall yet. And we've gone pretty hard. 
And then I've also got, and you might have seen them before, I'm not sure, these two tall lit trees. So T double O L lit trees. But they pretty much just stick on like a suction cup thing. And we've got our toothbrushes up in the back corner so they're nice and clean. The heads are up and they're not touching anything. And then I've just got another hook here which I've put my face wash on which is really nice. We've then got three storage cabinets which is just like one massive tunnel but it's got the three um, doors on it and we leave cleaning products and things like that. We've got our pots, a candle to get rid of the mosquitoes. Um, we've got food, so milk, avocados, things like that, that all just go up in the top. And then in the end one, we've got all of our cups, bowls and plates, coffee cups and yetis and stuff like that. So that is a really, really usable space for things like food and just bits and pieces. And then on the right hand side, we've got just like a big pantry pretty much so in the bottom I keep like my tins and like different vegetables that don't need to go in the in the fridge and then in the top we've just got like some more pots and pans we've got another fusion lock suction thingy up the top where I've got all of my spices which we can use up there as well um, one other thing on these doors is the whole caravan used to have like chrome accessories so they matched the sink and things like that but Jacob and I sort of thought they were pretty ugly so he's just gone and given them a spray with black paint and they look so much better and I must say the, this one hasn't lasted so well because it bangs on here but the others have kept up really nice like I actually think they look really good still I think it just makes it look a little bit more modern and stylish and sleek and then the last thing here in the kitchen this area was initially holding the fire extinguisher which makes sense because you're close to the close to the gas but we've just popped it inside the door which we think is a more practical space and then we've got uh, another Joseph and Joseph cutlery holder I've just got like snap lock bags cheese grater like some alfoil things like that so that's just sort of all those sort of different knickknacks that you can just keep in there that are sort of related to kitchen and food stuff moving towards the left of our van the most important part which you can't forget let me show you the major function of this which i think looks absolute top notch and gives it like a 10 out of 10 spark you can't see it in the dark but it goes blue i think it's so ugly it makes me feel like a nana going to the toilet and being like let me get up anyway moving towards the left oh we're looking over the top we've got our Orn Lux awning I think a lot of people have got this awning and we think it's great it's super quick to set up the only downfall to it is that it doesn't cover the fridge and we have had a couple of little troubles with the fridge just getting a little bit too warm but I'll show you the sort of solution that we've come up with that for the minute uh, this is the other side of the tunnel boot which you've literally already seen in We've got our old chairs, which by now you would know about, are probably in the bin. But yeah, that goes all the way through. There's nothing in the middle. It's just direct through tunnel boot. And then we've got our toilet. The nitty gritty that keeps our relationship on the rocks. <laughs> because the toilet is so close to the bed. So, I mean, I don't think I need to say anything more about that. You could probably work that out for yourself and how that goes down. Anyway, inside it is our Fet Fet Cassette toilet. And you just unhook it with that yellow knot, pull it out. There's nothing really more to say about that, is there? <laughs> Super straightforward. It's got wheels. You can roll it to the toilet. So if it's chocolate block full, then you don't have to lift it. And then the last thing on the outside is our fridge which is once again on one of those slides uh, we keep our table in here as well because we haven't really got any other good places for that we have got a fan that's running on the inside of the fridge and that's to sort of keep the airflow moving through it so it doesn't get too hot and turn into like a big hot box we like i said before we have had a little bit of problems with the fridge getting too hot and so we've put some insulation all the way through it and it did make a small difference but we found it wasn't enough so we bought this bag for our fridge and so far that has made such a massive impact on it holding its temperature 
so that's been really handy but this fridge is the Dometic 95s we love our fridge it is running two compartments so on this side we're running it just as a fridge and then on the other side it is a little bit smaller on the fridge on the freezer side but still great so you've got this whole space on the top and then there's just one space on the left where you've got some things that you can put uh, underneath as well so we could not live without a freezer I don't think so if you're thinking about getting something for the road I would highly recommend getting something with a fridge freezer because it changes our life so that's the outside mm -hmm. we're about to go inside that door but you're not going to see it until next week because we don't want to overwhelm you with all of this information because it's it's such good information exactly too much for you guys in one sitting so anyway we will see you next week and we'll show you the inside of our caravan we can't wait have a good week see you then